Well, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Remel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Tuesday, August 18th, 2020, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash Entertainment Report with Ray Mo, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at The Enter Report, or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Will Smith and Kevin Hart are teaming up for a new comedy, a remake of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Variety confirmed the production at Paramount. Hart shared the news on Instagram. In his post, he confirms the film will be set in Philadelphia. Hart says, we found it and are developing it together with our teams. This will be huge for us in the city of Burley Love at K Philadelphia. Let's go. John Hughes wrote and directed 1980s Sons Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Steve Martin played Neil Page, a husband and father trying desperately to get home to Chicago for Thanksgiving. He meets uh, curtain ring salesman Del Griffin, played by John Candy, on his flight. A series of travel disasters keeps preventing both from returning home, though they try flights, trains, and rental cars. Circumstances keep pushing Del and Neil together though Neil finds Del annoying. A famous scene from the original has Martin and Candy sharing a bed, waking up spooning. Both panic when they realize Del has been touching Neil's private parts in the night. The reports do not say whether Smith or Hart would play the roles corresponding to Candy and Martin. Earth to Ned, a new talk show from the Jim Henson Company, which features an alien as the host, is coming to Disney Plus on September 4th. The series who follows will follow Ned, an alien commander, and his lieutenant Cornelius, who calls off an invasion of Earth after falling in love with human culture. Ned begins broadcasting a talk show from the bridge of his spaceship that he must keep a secret from his father, the Admiral of the Galactic Fleet. The alien host is also aided by the ship's artificial intelligence named Beta and an army of clods, short for clone living of organisms of destruction. Neil will beam in celebrity guests to learn more about human culture. Each episode will focus on a different topic or theme that is unique to Earthlings, including comedy, sports, social media, and fashion. Bindi Irwin and Robert Irwin, RuPaul, Nene Leakes, Joel McHale, Andy Richter, Jenny Slate, Raven Simone, Billy D. Williams, Joshua Bassett, Rachel Bilson, Michael Ian Black, Rachel Bloom, Gina Carano, Ty Diggs, Lil Ray Howery, Jillian Jacobs, Thomas Lennon, um, Olivia Rodrigo, Eli Roth, Christine Schaal, Paul Shear, and Reggie Watts will appear as guests on Ned's show. Earth to Net is produced by the Jim Henson Company and Marwa Junction Productions. Ned Cornelius BT and the Clods are brought to life by the Jim Henson Creature Shop. CBS introducing the Love Island Season 2 cast. The yeah, network shared a teaser trailer for the season Monday featuring the first 11 new singles. Additional cast uh, contestants will be joining the cast as singles um, are eliminated. Well, that is based on the British reality dating series of the same name. The show follows a group of contestants known as Islanders as they live together in isolation from the outside world. Contestants must couple up or be eliminated. In season two, the contestants will be quarantined together at a villa at the Cornwall Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Ariel Vanderberg and Matthew Hoffman return as host and narrator, respectively. Season two kicks off with a two-hour Premiere August 24th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with subsequent episodes will air nightly at 9 p.m. Love Island, More to Love, a special episode featuring some of the best moments of the week on Saturdays. HBO released a trailer for its upcoming comedy, Coastal Elites, on Monday. The special presentation premieres September 12th at 8 p.m. on HBO. In the trailer, characters played by Sarah Paulson, Dan Levy, Issa Rae, and Caitlin Dever address the camera via video chat. Bed Miller plays a character in a holding cell with an overhead camera. Paul Rutnick created and wrote Coastal Elites, a story of characters trying to connect despite divisive politics. 
The COVID-19 pandemic added another level of distance to the production. Director Jay Roach and Rudnick adapted filming to meet COVID-19 safety protocols. Rodnick says he began writing Coastal Elites one year ago to address the frustrations people on both sides of the political aisle felt. Rodnick said on a recent Television Critics Association panel, these were people who demanded to be heard who had stories. These monologues short of bus four. Rhodes says prior to the pandemic, his plan was to film the actors performing monologues at the public theater. Roach ended up directing the actors remotely in their own homes. Rhodes says, I have them walk around with their computers and show me what their house looks like if it was the background. The sets are actually really nice because they picked the right lighting and the right backgrounds. Ana de Armas shared a photo with her boyfriend actor Ben Affleck on his 48th birthday. The 32-year-old actress posted the new photo with Affleck on Instagram while celebrating his birthday Sunday. The picture shows de Armas and Affleck smiling for the camera as de Armas snapped the selfie. De Armas captioned the post with the heart emoji. De Armas and Affleck were spotted on a motorcycle ride Saturday in Pacific Palisades, California. People said that Armas had Wild Garage com, uh, Company custom built the motorcycle for Affleck's birthday. The Armas and Affleck were seen riding together while wearing matching helmets. Sources told Entertainment Tonight, Anna surprised Ben with the new motorcycle with his and her helmets for his birthday. He loved it. They're both incredibly happy together and going strong. Ben is in a great place. Affleck and the Armas were first linked in March after meeting on the set of the upcoming film Deep Water. The couple went Instagram official in April while celebrating De Armas' birthday. In May, Affleck and De Armas were featured in Residentes Antes Que El Mundo Se Acaba music video. The couple were shown kissing while on their trip to the desert for De Armas' birthday. Affleck was previously married to Jennifer Gardner and has three children, Violet 14, Serafina 11, and Samuel 8 with the actress. He told ABC News in February that he was open to a meaningful relationship. Affleck most recently starred in the Way Back release in March. The Amos is known for the film Knives Out and will appear in the new James Bond movie, No Time to Die. Olympic gymnast uh, Carly Patterson is going to be a mom of three. The 32-year-old retired gymnast is expecting her third child with her husband Mark Cadwell. Patterson shared the news Sunday on Instagram alongside photos of her kids, son Graham, two, and daughter Emmeline, 18 months. The picture shows Graham and Emmeline posting under the balloons that read 1, 2, 3. Patterson captured the post, Cadwell Party at 5, coming February 2021. We can't wait. Hashtag 3 under 3 and a half. Fellow gymnast Shannon Miller was among those to congratulate Patterson in the comments. Patterson and Cadwell married in November 2012. Patterson shared a brand new family photo in April while celebrating Easter. Patterson celebrated 18 months with Emmeline on Instagram last week. She praised her daughter as being a firecracker. Patterson says, 18 months with this firecracker, I can go on and on about Emmeline. But you just have to know her. She keeps us on our toes at all times and cracking up throughout the en entire day. I love her, watching her grow into the mighty little force she is. Patterson retired from competitive gymnastics in 2006. She competed at the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens, where she won a gold medal in the women's individual all-around. Federal prosecutors released murder charges for two men Monday in the cold case 2002 killing of former Run DMC hip-hop star and DJ Jam Master J, one of New York's most well-known unsolved murders. Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr. were indicted by a grand jury Monday in what federal prosecutors describe as a drug-related homicide. Jay, whose real name was Jason Mizell, 37, was shot and killed at his recording studio in Queens on October 30, 2002. Mizell left behind a wife and three children. Seth Darchamp, acting U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of New York, says this is a case that's been around for a long time. We allege that Jordan and Washington walked into the music studio in Queens and shot Mizell in cold blood. And one official told the New York Times there was a beef 
It didn't go as planned. Washington, who was named as a suspect in the case as early as 2007, is currently in federal prison on related convictions of robbery committed while on the run after Mizell's death. Jordan was taken into custody. Uh, Ducharme thanked the New York Police Department and the Queens Cold Case Detective Squad, along with the FBI and the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms for their work on the case. The charm says, it's important for us to bring justice for the victims and his family and friends and the community that cared so much about those events. Prosecutors allege Washington was living in Jay's home in the days preceding his death. Washington allegedly threatened people at the recording studio with a handgun and Jordan wearing a mask shot Mizell in the head. Both men were charged with homicide and weapons charges and Jordan was additionally charged with seven narcotics related charges, Ducharm said Monday. Reverend uh, Run DMC, founded by Mizell, Joseph Reverend Run Simmons, and Daryl DMC McDaniels, were the first hip-hop group to release an album that went platinum in 1985 with Kings of Rock. In 2018, Netflix released a true crime documentary on the unsolved killings of Mizell, interviewing family and friends. Mizell was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame posthumously in 2009 with bandmates Simmons and McDaniels. In 2016, Run DMC were honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Grammys. Nora Jones performed from home in a new episode of NPR's Tiny Desk series. The 41-year-old singer-songwriter performed How I Weep, Heartbroken Day After, I'm Alive, and To Live during the stream show released Monday. Four songs appeared on Jones' seventh studio album, Pick Me Up Off the Floor, released in June. Jones co-wrote I'm Alive with Wilco frontman Jeff Tweedy, who co-produced the album. Jones said that this next song is called I'm Alive. I wrote it with Jeff Tweedy out in Chicago last year. Thanks, Jeff, for making this song with me. Jones remarked on her songs I'm Alive, This Life, and To Live before ending her concert with To Live. She says, I guess there's a little bit of a theme going on in the album. Jones said in an interview with USA Today in June that Pick Me Off the Floor consists of songs that didn't appear on the previous albums. She said, I was recording all these singles these past few years, and I ended up with a lot of extra songs. I was trying to not make an album and make one. Pick Me Off the Floor was originally scheduled for release in May, but was postponed due to the COVID pandemic. Jones says, music doesn't hurt anyone. I thought, let's just release it because the internet. Everybody's home. It's weird. What are you going to do? Stop because it's weird. Pick Me Up Off the Floor is Joan's first release album since Daybreak's release in 2016. And as the entertainment report for Tuesday, August 18th, 2020, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O. On Twitter at The Answer Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for The Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.